Johnson, and you're watching After Midnight, where comedians fight to the death for internet glory. Yes, actual death. The stakes are so high, this is our second show, and the review are in. Every little girl's dream, just okay. Thanks, USA Today. USA! 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 Can't wait for that to get clipped out online. Uh, no, we appreciate it, USA Today. Game recognizes game. <laughs> All right, let's meet tonight's panelists. She's at the Comedy Attic in Bloomington, Indiana on February 23rd and 24th. It's Sophie Buttle. Yeah, I'm so, so excited to be here. Hi, everyone. I wore my best Doritos bag. <laughs> <laughs> You can see him on In the Know coming on Peacock January 25th. It's Carl Tart. Hey, hey. <laughs> I am a former football player who doesn't have CTE. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Don't clap for that. That just means I didn't get enough playing time. <laughs> <laughs> and his live variety show, Variatopia, is on tour this spring. And you can go to paulftompkins.com slash live for details. It's Paul F. Tompkins. <laughs> Hi, Taylor. I just came out of surgery, and the doctor said I'm going to live. <laughs> but he said it in a disappointed way. <laughs> After midnight starts now. <laughs> Midnight, where we play games about the internet, so you don't have to. If you're just watching this show for the second time, way to keep up. <laughs> this is our second show ever, and you're two for two. Tonight, panelists, you'll be competing for an extra year on your life. Yeah. CBS gave me that power. <laughs> now, here's what's going down in the group chat. <laughs> Comedians, buzz in with your jokes, and if you hear this noise, you get 100 points. <laughs> this is what people are sharing on the internet today. Up first, the latest in vitamin C-related dating trends, the orange peel theory, is a viral challenge where people test how strong their relationship is by how willing their partner is to peel them an orange. <laughs> like in this video from at Shelby Wilfong. You're not gonna peel it for me? Dude, okay, as if I don't do enough. Seriously? You can't f peel this orange for me. Dude, I ask you to do things all the I time. I do everything. Do I just did your f laundry. A good boyfriend would peel this for me. Right. Or like do something yeah, for yeah, me yeah, that yeah, I'm yeah. perfectly capable of. Obviously, I can peel this. But like, if and you a were. A great boyfriend would tell you to do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Never a good idea to test your partner with fruit. Did we learn nothing from Adam and Eve? <laughs> That's like the first page of the Bible. <laughs> What's next? See if he loves you by asking him to gather two of every animal. <laughs> Comedians, since TikTok has given us such a healthy perspective on dating, what's another arbitrary relationship test you could give to your partner? Paul. Put a marshmallow on the table and tell him <laughs> He can have one marshmallow now, or wait a minute, and have two marshmallows. If he says yes, break up with him, marshmallows are gross. <laughs> Sophie. Um, the clockwork orange challenge, where you take your boyfriend and you put a cage on his head with, with rats in it, and the rats eat his eyes so that he can't look at other girls. <laughs> I haven't seen the movie. Oh, wow. <laughs> you, have, With authority. you haven't seen the movie? No. <laughs> Carl. Oh, you love me? Then burn these hemorrhoids off. <laughs> I mean, truly, if you really love me. <laughs> In a sign of impending economic collapse, fun. Workers at Anheuser-Busch, the makers of Budweiser, are threatening to go on strike if they don't get major pay raises, which they should. Everyone should be striking for what they deserve all the time. <laughs> Except for the writers of this show, they should just shut up and work. <laughs> That's direct from CBS. Sorry about that. <laughs> Panel, in solidarity with these beer workers, what protest slogans could you give to help them get what they want? <laughs> Paul. Beer me, bro? No. Beer us, brother. <laughs> 
do you guys feel that change in the air pressure? That can only mean one thing. J-Lo has a new movie coming out, and it's <laughs> loosely based on her life. <laughs> Let's take a look at the trailer. And I'm not weak. I learned the hard way. Not all love stories have a happy ending. <laughs> This movie is actually the first writing credit for J Lo's soul. <laughs> that was my favorite part of the trailer when they're just like from the bowels of Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> the title is This Is Me Now, which feels like a bit of a placeholder. <laughs> Comedians, what are some alternative titles for this soon to be masterpiece that only feature those four words? Paul. Now, is this me? <laughs> Carl. Me? Now? This? <laughs> is. <laughs> Sophie. Me. <laughs> huh. So gentle. Next up, an airplane passenger flying on Spice Jet was trapped inside the plane's bathroom for over an hour. <laughs> After realizing the door was stuck, the flight crew slid him this note. Sir, we tried our best to open the door, however, we could not open. Do not panic, we are landing in a few minutes, so please close the commode lid and sit on it and secure yourself. As soon as the main door is open, an engineer will come. Do not panic. <laughs> Anytime someone says do not panic twice, it is time to panic. <laughs> they cancel each other out. Also, why does this note look like it was written on the back of a pirate treasure map? <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get you out, and then we're gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> Comedians, what's an even worse note to be given in an airplane bathroom? Sophie. Uh, whatever you're doing in there smells great. <laughs> <laughs> Paul. Alone in there, huh? Loser. <laughs> <laughs> bathroom shaming. Carla. You don't know me, but I know you. Do you want to play a game? <laughs> oh, extra points for the scary, scary accent. <laughs> In Why Love Continues to be Dead News, at 24K Rose tweeted this very normal text exchange from a male suitor. My love language is physical touch, so talking to you won't make me like you. F***ing <laughs> will. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> Oh. Wow. Props for weaponizing therapy speak in order to get laid. <laughs> we found the one and only reason why straight men shouldn't go to therapy. <laughs> Comedians, in the style of this emotionally manipulative douchebag, please give me some pickup lines using therapy speak. Sophie. You're gaslighting my boner by not f***ing it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard that one. Carl. Girl, that ass is so fat, it's triggering. <laughs> Paul. I have very strict boundaries that require you to remain within one inch of my penis at all times. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie and Paul are tied at 500 points. <laughs> Carl's in the lead with 600 points.